Hello, my name is Dan Lasseur. I own DK Lasseur Incorporated. We're a landscape contractor in the city of Washougal, state of Washington. Today we've been asked to troubleshoot a riding mower. Now here, remember I'm a commercial operator. This is a commercial mower. A lot like your car with most of the components, your riding mowers that you have, you probably sit on. This one we stand on. So first off, check our air filter right here. Take it off, take a look. And boy, that one's pretty dirty. So always wanna make sure we clean this, as much of the debris off as we can before we open it up. Okay, and then that, this air filter can stand to be replaced. So we'll have to do that. That will keep it running a little rough and use a little bit more fuel so we do know we need to do that. I'm just gonna set that back on top there so I don't misplace it. Okay. Okay, this is also a hydrostatic mower. Some regular homeowners might have some. So we just check the fluid inside here. Never overfill this stuff, it says Gives you your two levels, cold, that was looking really good. So we're not gonna add nothing. And always use what factory recommends and also your owner's manual. Don't ever go against that. They're there for a reason, okay? We have controls, always check them, make sure we have good springage on there. There, that all seems to be working pretty good. You have a key for this one, most of them do have a key, just make sure it's in there. This also has, uh, this motor has six gears and they move slowly and being hydrostatic just like an automatic car, you're not going to feel it go in until you're moving. Throttle, right here, you got a little turtle here, it's for slow and a, a nice jackrabbit on top for fast. Don't ever go faster than you can handle. Okay, coming down to the back here a little bit. This tire, uh, it's flat, so we're going to have to fix this later when we have it in the shop. And also, it looks like one of my guys is either he's fishing while he's trying to work or ran over some fishing line in uh, somebody's yard. So, I would say he's probably salmon fishing, seeing as how we're in one of the best places in Washington to uh, do some salmon fishing. Right here, this is our lever for engaging our belt drive blades so and that's nice and snug looks like somebody uh played with it out in the field to get it back so and this mower let me tell you it does need to be serviced that's why we picked this one to talk to you about so this is not proper this should actually have a carter pin in it so once our mechanics start working on it we're going to get that right next is our fuel tank let's look inside yep there's no debris in there if there was some debris in there i'd Make sure our mechanics took that tank off, cleaned it out, get all the debris out. And when you put your lid on your mower, don't ever over tighten it. That'll keep it from running properly. So you just want to have it snug so it could breathe. This here's our choke. Make sure it's, it's operating and you can look down here on the carburetor and see that it's working properly. Next is our oil. Open your oil cap, pull it out with a rag wipe it off and it's okay for your mower to use a little bit of oil as long as you keep it checked see this one uh, looks like it could be using some new oil but it's okay because we're going to be changing the oil in it here at the shop and oil filter good idea this is what we do here at DK Lasseur we take and write the date on our oil filters to let us know last time it was changed and this one's about a month overdue so Next is our pull string. I'm gonna have to walk to the other side. Our pull cord is right here. I'm gonna turn this thing on real quick. I'm gonna flip the key on, give it a little tug. Up, oh, it won't start because it's in gear. So let me push it back into neutral. Brakes on. And there you go. Starts up pretty good. Turn it off. Other than that, it's running pretty good. Um, 
we got belts up under here. We don't have the right tools to pull that off to show you, but always make sure your belts are in good condition. If they start to uh, fray, replace them. Save you a lot of time and a lot of money letting one of those things break while you're uh, operating it. Again, uh, riding mower is a lot like your vehicle. Make sure it's maintained. On all our wheels, we have uh, what's called a Zerk fitting. Let's go up here to the front. It's the easiest one to look at right here in here. Make sure we grease these and down here. There should be little Zerk fittings on any moving parts on this machine. Save your bearings. They get kind of expensive. So that's basically troubleshooting your mower.